أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين الدين سرطة مستقيم Sarata Allah Dina Anam Talahim Khaira Maktubi Alahim Wala Talim Okay Your journey to Islam Huh? Your journey to Islam Okay uh, Well, how I got to be a Muslim How I got to be a Muslim is that uh, I had been talking uh, with a friend for a while Who was a Muslim and um, This person was always sharing with me about praying and how much it meant to this person and um, I didn't really understand you know the big deal about it and, um, you know and why somebody would get up in the middle of the night and pray and get up early in the morning and pray and you know uh, you know five six times a day and why they look forward to doing that so um, but I was curious I wasn't objecting to it so I looked online, I found, you know, you can find everything online nowadays, but uh, I looked online and found an instructions on how to do Salat, and um, so I printed it out, and, um, you know, I just followed the instructions and, you know, did the Raku and Sajud and everything, and um, just from that very first time of trying Salat, uh, I just felt so much peace, and I just felt like there's really, really something to this. And um, you know, from from that, I knew there um, there was something there for me. And so, you know, I, I looked around and I um, I found out about Dr. Kazi's class. And you know, when I went there the first first time I went to the class, um, you know, I knew that this was these are the people I wanted to be with. And um, you know, this was this was just right for me. And this was the truth. So. You know, I took Shahada at the end of my very first class with Dr. Kazi. And, um, you know, it's been, that was four years ago, and it's kind of been an adventure ever since then. And, um, you know, I got married in April uh, to my wife. And, um, you know, and so the miracles have kept opening up, and she might be mad that I'm telling everybody, but, uh, you know, we're expecting our first child in February, so. Uh, you know, it's like the miracles keep coming, so, you know, all of that's out of taking my shahada four years ago, and so, you know, alhamdulillah for, for everything. Thank you. Naima, a British convert of whom the British newspaper, the Daily Telegraph, wrote, that Muslim woman could be happier than you. She is also the chief editor of Sisters magazine, as well as a prize-winning author of many books, including the popular From My Sister's Lips. She told me that when she was still searching, she went to an evangelical Christian church, attended the ceremony, and then wanted to know more. Go back to the Qur'an. Go back to the Qur'an and go back to the example of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. For me, I came from a feminist background. I was raised pretty much in a feminist household. And it was the personage of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his manner, the way he was with wives, children, uh, c companions, anybody else around him. It was his personage more than anything else that made me see the beauty of Islam. You've got a prophet who used to help his wives in the house. You've got a prophet who used to serve himself, who used to mend his own shoes who used to say when he was asked, who do you love from amongst the people? He would say his wife's name before anybody else's name. He was a feminist. If anybody was a feminist, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, according to my definition, he was the ultimate feminist. In the last sermon Prophet Muhammad gave before he died, he mentioned that um, men should treat women kindly and that they should treat them well because women are their partners and their helpers. And that was his last sermon before he died. That was the last message he was ever going to give anyone. And that was part of his message, that you must treat women kindly. And so obviously that's a very big part of religion. If that's in his last sermon, that's the last message he'll ever give the Muslims who are alive then. 
The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, set a standard of helping his wives in the kitchen. Uh, modern Muslim husbands also help their wives in day-to-day -day lives.